first things first, a big heartfelt welcome back to the sun. Thanks for showing up. We appreciate it. I thank Alyssa Ray for showing up every Friday night as well as we take you to a rivalry matchup that is evolving thanks to realignment. Alyssa is live at Glenver where the Highlanders and the Knights will collide. A Ray. Well, Happy, Glenver knows how to throw a party. We're still about 30 minutes to kick off, but fans are already filling up the stands. It's pink out night for breast cancer awareness, so it's for an even bigger cause. But this was a rivalry game anyways. But now that Glenver and James River are in the same district, they're also in the same classification. Oh, and by the way, they're both undefeated, so that makes this game even bigger. In the past four seasons under head coach Kevin Clifford, Glenver is 46 and 7, including state championship in 2014. Clifford's key to success is high expectations, and those are just as high this season. The offense is balanced with Brady Loader leading the way in the backfield with 830 yards rushing, and quarterback Landry Gerbers has thrown for 861 yards and seven touchdowns. All credit goes to everyone up front, offensively and defensively. It all starts there. Uh, Secondary wise, uh, we've had uh, skilled players. Uh, last year we lost a lot of seniors and we had a lot of young guys coming in. We weren't sure how they were going to fill their roles and they just all stepped up this year. It's a very exciting matchup. I mean, we're both undefeated. This is a huge playoff game right here. I mean, this is huge points for us going into the playoffs. So, I mean, it's exciting when you can come in here and just play the game and both undefeated and see what you can do. The Knights man under center has been successful as well. Coulter Hodges is a dual threat quarterback who's thrown for 494 yards and rushed for 339. James River hasn't been to the playoffs since Jake Phillips first year at the helm of the program in 2015, but at 4-0 they could be in the midst of a playoff push. His leadership for the past four years has made a huge difference. It's turned this program around. It's got us going. Um, the past two years, we kind of had to work it out, but that's just because of our school. We don't have as many players, uh, athletes come out. So, but I think we're. I think he's really making a huge difference. The the coaches and us, we've really worked together, and we've brought the younger kids up. They've they followed us. We're playing good together. We're we're working together. We're talking in practices. We're we're getting better together. It's just not just a couple people just trying to get themselves better. It's everyone going together. Hey, do these guys look familiar? It's a coincidence. I interviewed Landry Gerbers and Max Philpot earlier this week. They're part of a vital senior class. It's really helped Glenver do as well as they have thus far. So we took a poll this week to see who you thought would win this game. The results are out. 62% say Glenver, 38% say James River. Of course, we'll have all the highlights tonight on 1st and 10 at 11:10. Live in Salem, Melissa Ray, 10 Sports.